Now, it's really difficult to visualize patterns and make sense to 100 million records of data. So to help us with that, now we want to take a look at GeoAnalytics Server, which uses in parallel high performance, distributed compute and storage technology, all delivered as part of ArcGIS Enterprise 10.5. Now, one of the analyses that we can run is to create all that flight information, take all that flight information, and do a reconstruct tracks, and create all the unique flight paths using the flight identifier from that data. We can filter that information a bit further by looking at a particular carrier, like American Airlines, who I typically fly. So looking at the DC metro area with Dulles, National, and BWI, we can quickly see that American typically flies in and out of National Airport. But we can compare that to Southwest. And actually, after living in the DC area for 10 years, I bet that most of these flights will be coming in and out of BWI, and the data tells us that. We can filter this data a bit further and take a look at departures, arrivals, and flyovers in the DC area. And this map shows us in red the departures, the orange is arrivals, and the blue are the flyovers in the DC metro area. And we can see from this map that DC is a pretty busy airspace. But I want to take you to some place that's a bit busier. And it's actually in my home state of Tennessee. FedEx's hub, as you may know, is located in, in Memphis, Tennessee. And your f overnight packages are all flown through there. And using geoanalytics, we can use another tool called aggregate points and begin to look at this information in not only space, but time. So let's take a look at a typical night of flights for FedEx. So looking at the map from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., there's no activity. If we move to 8 to 9, still no activity. But when we get to 9 to 10, we begin to see some flights taking off. Now at 10 p.m. to 11, it becomes FedEx time, and it really kicks into high gear. As the flights are coming in and delivering those packages to be distributed, and it really gets a flurry of activity. And as we move through, the activity continues. And I don't know if you knew this, but from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m., the Memphis airport is actually the busiest airport in the world. So as we keep going, we get to about 2 to 3, slows down a bit. And then at 3 to 4, we see it pick up again as those packages begin to leave the Memphis airport. So you can make sure you can get your packages that next morning. It continues till it dies down around 6 to 7 a.m.